Investing is one of those mysterious but not really things that a lot of people say. At first it's really hard, but in reality, it isn't. If you're someone interested in investing but don't really know a lot, you're in luck. For today's video, we'll be looking at some of the best investment options for beginners. Welcome to Modern Wealth, where we help all beginners become experts in no time. Now, let's get on with the video. The greatest misconception about investing is that it's reserved for only the elite and that you need a ton of money to start investing. This could have been true 10 years ago, but not anymore these days. All the barriers to entry have been kicked out by technology and development in the sector. So with all these advancements, there's no excuse for beginners to not invest. So follow these 10 tips and start building your wealth. Let's start with number one, the golden rule of investment. This rule was created by the affluent investment guru, Warren Buffett, who has amassed a fortune of wealth by applying this rule. The best way to live by this rule is by investing at attractive prices when an option is undervalued. By doing this, you will be paying less than the real price, which could later earn you some serious money when everything goes back to normal. As much as risk-taking is great, make sure you only take calculated risks. Avoid short-term investing since it is highly risky. Instead, look for long-term investment options with secure returns to minimize risks. Warren Buffett has built his wealth through long-term investing as opposed to short-term trading. Well, some people have hit the jackpot through speculation. But an even larger number of people have lost money in the same way. In short-term trading, there are multiple costs that are charged in fees and many uncertainties that could result in huge losses. Many other billionaires have acquired their money through this long-term trading which has proven to be more essential over the years. It's stable, convenient, and will never let you down. Tip number two is to create a portfolio plan. This next tip has everything to do with determining your goals. That includes how much money you want to make in the long run, where would you want to be financially, and what would you desire your net worth to be. Ask yourself such questions early on, then create a plan for getting there. Once that is done, identify the investment options that are lucrative with return rates that would give you the earnings you would wish to have within the given timelines. Use this as your general guide when making your investment decisions. Tip number three is surprisingly, paper trading. With this, you can get the full experience of investing without having to risk real money. This technique allows you to trade and invest in stocks, track profits or losses, and basically do everything you would have done in reality. Today, Many platforms will enable you to practice your skills at no cost at all. Think of this as a training ground before you invest your real money. I think every beginner should start here. I mean, what's there to lose? Tip number four, we have the classic, stocks. Stocks can be one of the best ways to invest your money. By investing in the right company, you could earn as much as 15% a year. This same strategy that I'm about to show you is the same Warren Buffett used to milk the markets for the last six decades. So I bet you're wondering, how do I begin to invest in stocks as a beginner? Well, the most important aspect to keep in mind is choosing the right company and the right time. This will require you to research the selected companies by looking at their past performance, their management, their financial reports, and the moat. Once you've identified a company that meets your qualifications, don't invest right away. Place the company on your watch list for some time. As you wait, keep an eye on price dips. Once the stock price goes down, grab the opportunity and buy. This will give you a great bargain and profit once the company goes back to its real value. As you invest, 
it is important to keep your emotions in check. Understand that markets are very volatile and even the best companies may experience dips. Don't panic or make hasty decisions based on any drastic changes. Instead, wait, be patient, and analyze the situation before making a decision. Never let fear be the driving factor behind a decision to buy or sell. Usually, if not always, you'll be wrong and will be doing exactly what the market wants you to. Don't let them run circles around you. The beauty of investing today, though, is that you don't need a lot of money. You can start with as little as $1,000 and grow your account to tens of thousands in a short time. As you invest, make sure you avoid penny stocks. Penny stocks are the stocks of companies that are valued under $5. These stocks can be attractive as they are lowly priced. However, they are very volatile and little to no information about the companies is available online. Most penny stocks are for small companies that are relatively new in the public sphere. Tip number five is investing apps. Now that we live in a world of new age technology, we have the best information right at our fingertips, which can actually save newbie investors. Today, there are numerous investing apps that target beginners. Some even round up your purchases on credit or debit purchases and invest them in a portfolio of ETFs, which we'll be looking at in a bit. These apps will work like robo-advisors and will manage your portfolio. If you still want to do it for yourself, there are so many apps that will train you and teach you how to invest. Most charge very little fees and are convenient since they can be accessed at any time on your devices. Now that we're halfway through the list, it'd really help us out if you hit the like button and subscribe. We'll continue giving you only the best tips and tricks, so be sure to stay until the end of the video. Now, let's get on with tip number 6. Tip number 6 involves exchange-traded funds or ETFs. They are quite similar to index funds since they also track a specific market index and use the same investing approach. These funds also tend to have less fees when compared to mutual funds. The main difference between the two is that rather than having a minimum investment, the ETF is traded throughout the day and has a share price that fluctuates. This share price is the ETF's minimum investment amount, which can be less than $100 or even more than $300. Since they are traded daily like stock, they incur brokerage fees paid in commissions. Many people have made a lot of money through them, but they require a lot of research and vigilance. To really succeed with them, you will need to dedicate a significant amount of time, if not, become a full-time investor. But I assure you, the more you research and understand, the more you'll see why ETFs are great. Tip number 7. I think to no one's surprise are index funds. Just think of index funds as mutual funds on autopilot. As you can probably guess, an index fund will track a specific index. It's a great alternative to hiring a portfolio manager to create one for you. On the other hand, a market index refers to a collection of investments that represent a segment of the total market. A great example of index funds is the holy grail known as the S&P 500. It holds the stocks of 500 of the biggest companies in America. The S&P 500 fund will mirror the performance of the companies within the category and buy their stocks. What's more is that the expenses are lower since the funds take a passive approach to investment. It involves tracking the overall market index as opposed to having a real professional portfolio manager. Similar to mutual funds, if you invest in index funds, you'll be purchasing a chunk of the whole market in a single transaction. In many cases, index funds have a minimum investment amount. The good news is that a couple of brokerage funds have no requirements. I mean, how amazing is that? This investment option is definitely one of the better ones in the long term. Tip number 8 is Target Data Mutual Funds. This investment option will automatically invest money with the estimated retirement year you have in mind. 
A mutual fund is a basket of many investments where an investor buys a share in the fund, thereby investing in the total holdings of the fund in one go. These funds are run by professional managers who choose how the fund will be invested, with each fund generally following a specified theme. For example, an equity mutual fund will invest in stocks. In most cases, you will find the targeted mutual funds holding a mix of bonds and stocks. If one plans to retire in 20 years from 2020, they can select a mutual fund of their preference and it will be labeled 2040. When the term ends, the investor will reap the returns of the investment. Second to the last, at number 9, we have robo-advisors. They're automated advisors that offer financial services such as building portfolios and selecting investment options on people's behalf. If you don't know much about investing, robo-advisors are a great option. Robo-advisors will manage all your investments by using computer algorithms. Their systems incur low overhead costs, therefore, the fees to operate are relatively lower than hiring brokers to manage your account. It would cost you between 0.25% and 0.50% to use a robo-advisor and between 0.5% to about 5% to hire a personal financial advisor. When you are a newbie and you don't have a lot of money, this is your easy way out. But I'm not telling you to let them do all the work. You still have to monitor where your money's going and what's happening. If you're also interested in learning, there are some advisors who provide educational content and useful tools that'll help you understand more about the processes involved. It's a cheaper, more convenient and proven way to invest. Last but not least, for tip number 10, I present to you Employee Retirement Plans or 401k. It's definitely the best place to start as a rookie investor. Some companies will match your contribution, say you contribute 2% of your salary and your company could contribute another 2% equivalent to the amount you put in the plan. It may seem like a small amount, but it's free money that'll grow over the years. Today, you can contribute up to $19,500 in your 401k and $26,000 if you're above the age of 50. The beauty of this investment plan is that there's no minimum deposit required. You can start with as little as you can afford. Now, when you choose a plan, the amount will be deducted automatically from your account. Most retirement plan deductions are made pre-tax, so you end up saving a lot more money in the long run. The power of compounding also plays a key role here in growing your money. A little contribution every month can create a pool of money in a couple of years through compounding. Still not sure about this? Well, you could head over to your HR department for more information. All in all, follow our short guide for investing and you should be alright. With that being said, how do you see yourself starting your investment journey? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. We would love to know which option sounds better to you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching! And if you want to learn a few more tips and tricks to handling your money or your money making skills, make sure to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers!